Hello and welcome in Laplace Transform and we're gonna take, we've been using the Laplace derivative so in this theorem we're gonna use it in integration in another form so assume for if Laplace Transform above of t okay <clears throat> is equal to f of s this means that we know f of s of f of t if we, if we do know that so if we know that then the bless of f of t over t okay will be integration from S to infinity. Okay, F of S. All right, the bless of the function that we know. So where the function? Actually, this is the function. All right, and this is refers to the integration. So what we care about actually is the denominator. That's it. So, for example, get a blast transform to this function. Blast transform of sine t, sine t over t. The first question you can ask yourself: Do you know the blast transform of sine t? You would say yes. We took it in the previous lessons. So very well get Laplace of sin t then integrate from s to infinity Laplace of sin t put it here sin t or sin omega t is equal to omega which is 1 over s square plus omega square ds ok very simple so, in trigeometry, in trigeometry, if we have d of s here, and then s square plus s square, if we have d s over s square plus s square, what is the function that refers to this? Okay, if you have dx over x square plus a square. Same idea. This refers to 10 minus 1 of the fun, the original function. So this equal to 10 minus 1 of the original function which is this. And then you're going to integrate or you're going to just Put the s to infinity. You already done the integration. You're going to use the limit of integration. Okay. All right. So when you put infinity, this is what p y over two minus. When you put s, so the function will not change. It'll stay s. So ten minus one. Yes. Okay. Also, this is the form of cotan minus one. Cotan minus one of s. So you can put it pi over two minus ten minus one s or cotan minus one s. Okay. Very well. Let's take another example. All right. Let's take another example. So remember, you must know the best transform of the function f of t. So another example. Laplace transform of 1 minus 2. You should know trigeometry very well, by the way. All the identities. 
very important. Okay, 1 minus 2 cosine t the same. So you must know put Laplace of 1 minus 2 cosine t. You already know this. You, you know Laplace of 1 and you know Laplace of cosine, right? So just this refers to the integral from 0 from s to infinity. And then here, you're going to put the box of Laplace transform, and then you're going to put it here. So what is Laplace transform of 1, or, or any constant? We know that, right? Laplace transform of any constant is actually constant over S minus. 2 is a constant, so put it right there. Laplace of cosine omega t is S over s square plus omega square. Omega is 1, so 1. All this will integrate will with respect to ds. Okay? So, the derivative of s is 1 with respect to ds. So, integrate this side, integrate this will be ln s then s minus 2 is a constant but if you multiply 2 by s right just right there it will be also the derivative of this function with respect to s the derivative of this is 2s we have the 2s so then the answer will be 2 ln s 2 ln s square plus 1 any function you have the derivative of and the denominator right there. You have the derivative ds or dA of s, then this is equal to ln s. And so on. So then function will be ln s minus 2 ln s squared plus 1 and limits of integration from s to infinity. Very well. We know also in uh, one of the rules of len that if you have len something over something else like s or over 3 s, this is means that you can do make it another way len s minus len 3. But if you have this, so you can get back to this form. The same idea. Very well. So len s minus, just we'll remove the minus and we'll put this one. Division. So len s, put s, then minus will be division. And then 2 len, so it will be a square plus 1 and then we're going to put the len right there the same idea we have not changed anything okay then we will continue to put the limits of integration from s to infinity so if you put infinity anything over infinity will be 0 all right so it will be 0 minus if you put s the function is still the same, will not change. So, will be ln s over s square plus 1. Okay. Also, if you have minus ln s over s square, you can remove the minus and change the past with, or denominator with the denominator. So, just put this shot there, s square plus 1 over s as you remove the minus and that's it okay let's see the other uh, theorem in the next video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel like and share and see you soon